Hi, it's Eugene here, and today I'm going to teach you how to create your own environment for retail. So, we're going to go to Lifecycle Services, lcsdynamics.com. There, you're going to be able to create a new project. Here I have quite a few. I'm going to create a new one. Here you should pick Migrate, Create, Custom Solutions, and Learn. And then just give it in the product name we're going to select 365 for finance and operations we're not going to add the solution package uh, with the product version we're going to choose finops industries we're going to choose retail and methodology we are going to use finance and operations methodology we're going to click create the next step after the project is created, we are going to tie our Azure subscription ID to this project. It is necessary so that the system is able to create environments on your behalf. So first you're going to click authorize, which you will give a consent to LCS to do stuff to your Azure subscription. So it looks like we did that. Now we're going to come back to our project settings and open Microsoft Azure portal in a new tab. So here, what we're looking for is your Azure subscription ID. You can find it right here under this uh, key symbol. What you need to do is to copy the Microsoft Azure internal subscription ID and paste it in and have it in the clipboard. Once you copied it, you can go in and create a new connector. Just give it some name and then paste the Azure subscription ID. Also flip this flag. So then let's click next, see what happens. So here, system gives us some warning. And what is interesting here is that we should download the certificate and add it back to the Azure portal. So what I'll do is now I will download the certificate and save it. You only have to do it once, initially when you're setting up a project and then you never have to do it again. Then you're going to find it in the Downloads folder. So just keep in mind where it is for now. Then we're going to come back to our subscription. And in the subscriptions, you go to the subscription itself, and then you click on the right plate management certificates. And we are going to upload a new one. We're going to upload it right to here from the thing we downloaded. And then we're going to click Upload. And then it says, OK, Upload succeeded. And we're going to come back to LCS. In LCS, we're going to click Next. And click and select the Azure region that's closest to you. Let's say I'm going to do West US. Click Connect. It's basically where the virtual machines are going to be deployed. And then we basically are all set at this point. Now we have an Azure connector. So let's come back to the project. And then we are going to do this environments and plus. In here, we're going to select the latest and greatest, which is version 10 update 25 it's going to be exciting and we're going to click next we're going to say that we are doing a demo deployment and there it's going to be a machine that typically costs around one dollar to run per hour and by default it selects not the fastest in the world one so we're going to give it a name
and I usually change it to G13 V2 just because it's a little bit faster. And then I agree that I'm going to be charged for this, or Microsoft is going to be charged for this, and I click next. And I truly want to deploy this. So what's going to happen is uh, it will kick off a process to deploy a virtual machine. And at this point, you should brew some coffee or tea and then go take a walk uh, for from four to six hours. At this point, uh, you basically can do nothing but wait. And there, I also posted the hyperlink. You might be able to tinker, meanwhile, with a solution that I host in my environment and play with it a little. So, and in the next video, take a look at how do you activate the point of sale and conduct your first sale in Dynamics 365 for Intel. Thank you.